The past few years have seen electric motorsports move from an interesting concept to operational reality. And now, with momentum growing, it looks like things are about to take off, literally. The E1 Powerboat series was first announced in Monaco last year. It's backed by Powerboat's governing body UIM, as well as co-founders, former F1 director Roddy Basso and Alexandra Gag. The latter is probably the single most important man in electric motorsports. Founding, establishing and growing Formula E into not just a viable sport, but one of the top motorsport series in the world, packed with auto manufacturers. He's now turning his hand to the water with E1 and using a similar formula. Much like Formula E, the boats will race on short courses, either close to large waterfront cities, or much like his Extreme E series, in some of the world's most dramatic remote locations. The series intends to leave a minimal environmental impact on the locations it visits, as well as leaving behind some serious charging infrastructure for electric boats in each venue. The series has now unveiled the boat which will take to these courses, dubbed the Racebird. Designed by Seabird Technologies and Victory Marine, the boat has been tasked to inspire the public and showcase electric technology, as well as provide a platform for engaging racing. Raising themselves half a metre out of the water on hydrofoils, they should create a spectacular sight as they fly around courses optimised to make the most of their high-speed design. It's hoped the craft will be able to race at speeds up to 50 knots or 98 kilometres an hour. The boats have already been compared to the pod races from Star Wars and the anti-gravity races of the Wipeout game series. Built entirely of natural and carbon fibres by Victory Marine in Pisa, Italy, E1 are in an advanced stage of prototyping and the series hope to begin testing them this winter. Once the race boats are built, the company hope to sell tuned down versions to the public. The series hopes to launch in two years time, with up to 12 teams taking part. The race weekends will see the craft compete in head-to-head -head knockout time trials. <laughs>